Hi guys, in part 5 of my textual criticism series, I will investigate another claim Muslims love to make, produce a Quran, Surah or Ayah like it. This is considered in many cases as the killer argument. First, let's take a look where this claim actually comes from. I found numerous verses which challenge others to match the Quran and there might even be more. Now, to abrogate means to repeal or abolish by authority, which is fair enough. But if it was perfect in the first place, why, or better how, could it be substituted by something better or similar? Everything you need to know is written on these pizza boxes. Number one. There is a man in the sky who controls everything. So what we need to believe and accept at face value is that there is a man in the sky who commanded or challenged us to provide something like the Quran or a Surah or a verse. Like what? How do you compare two books? Is Saint-Exupéry better or Henry Miller? How do you compare two paintings? Is Van Gogh better or Dali? How do you compare two songs? Is Bach better or Tchaikovsky? If I say this is the most beautiful photo in the world, can you prove me wrong? If I say this is the most beautiful woman in the world, can you prove me wrong? If I say this is the most beautiful painting in the world, can you prove me wrong? So on what grounds do Muslims make the claim that the Quran is the bestest of the best? It is neither prose nor poetry. It has no structure or chronology. There is no storyline or consistency. Bits and pieces are sprinkled throughout the text and, as I have shown in previous videos, topics are found in different parts of the book. Correcting an error would, in itself, constitute an improvement. So fixing grammatical errors alone would be an improvement. So what would a Quran Mark II look like? If I fix the error in the first verse in, well, 569 for example, those who believe those who are the Jews and the sub and the Christians. Compare this to 22.17. Those who believe and those who are Jews and the sub and the Christians. Would it be classified a better Quran? Or 16.66. We gave you drink from what is in their butunihi bellies. Or 23.22. We gave you to drink from that which is in their butuniha bellies, which is also factually wrong as milk never comes from a belly. If you want to get more information or feel like criticizing my statement, please refer to the lengthy discussion on this topic first. Is 16106 an example for the eloquence of the Quran? Whoso disbelieveth in Allah after his belief, save him who is forced thereto and whose heart is still content with faith, but whoso findeth ease in disbelief. <laughs> Say what? Is this the best a God writing a godly book can come up with? What about 5354, where in the introduction the Quran says, and the overturned toward towns he hurled it down? because Muhammad did not remember the name Sodom and Gomorrah, and then continues, and covered them by that which he covered. Hmm. Other translators had an equally hard time with the Arabic and offered, so enveloped they were by that which enveloped. Not much better. Is it difficult to improve on this? <laughs> Should I take Surah 6, 151 as an example for the excellence of this piece of literature? Uh, let me try this. Say, come I will recite with what your Lord has prohibited to you. He commands that you do not associate anything with him and to parents good treatment and do not kill your children out of poverty. If you read this literally, Allah prohibits you from treating your parents well and also prohibits you from not killing your children out of poverty. Uh, poverty. <laughs> You say, what? Who wrote this? A god? How dare Muslims insult Arab poets such as Makamat of Hariri or the Mualakat by Imrawil Kais? These were real poets who produced poetry that actually deserves the term. 
If I provide an explanation regarding Surah 111 Abu Lahab and explain who he was and what he did to deserve such harsh punishment, have I created a better Quran? In a prior video, I picked up the challenge Zealot made and came up with the following replacement for Surah 5524 where it says, He gave you ships that roam the sea like flags. Now, if I were a godlike being with an inclination towards science, I would rather say, I gave you the abilities to construct ships that roam the sea like flags. I gave you the abilities to construct aeroplanes that roam the skies like hawks. I gave you the abilities to construct vessels that roam the galaxies like solar winds. Use them to discover your world and the universe. Oh, yeah. This is actually better than the stories in the three Abrahamic books as it requires no improvement by humans, no interpretation, and it was as valid for Bedouins 2000 years ago as it is for today's mankind. Look at the language used here. And she, this is about Mary, conceived him, or Jesus, and she withdrew with him to a place. Somewhere. Feeling sorry for herself in 1924, it says, Then one cried unto her from below, saying, Grieve not, thy Lord hath placed a rivulet beneath thee. Quaint. But what does it mean? Now, allowing Syriac into this verse instead of Shia Arabic, we would get, Grieve not, thy Lord hath made your delivery legitimate. Instead of the nonsensical, Grieve not, thy Lord hath placed a rivulet beneath thee. The same happens here in 2.259. Just look at thy food and drink which have rotted. Look at thine ass. <laughs> now, allowing a Syriac word to be used, it changes into just look at thy food and drink which have rotted. Look at thine condition. Well, which makes more sense as well. The Quran claims it is the source for pure Arabic, but if you allow non-Muslim scholars a linguistic analysis of the Quran, you find these foreign words in the book. But you will only find these and allow them into the book if you allow what Muslims love so much, an open heart and an open mind. Will any Muslim accept these words as being foreign to exist in her or his book? Why would a book challenge anyone to produce a replacement? Arrogance? Who would judge the level of this replacement? What about all those better or improved versions? Will they be summarily dismissed? Has a Muslim ever looked at the collection of better surah? It is written completely in Arabic, so nobody can apply the read it in Arabic apology. Initially, in this interest of free exchange of religious ideas and learning, fundamental Muslims shouted blasphemy and I'm offended and urged the agitators to complain which they did vociferously, resulting in AOL deleting the site. But the internet does not easily forget, so it has found its new home at the address above. Conclusion As I have shown, the Quran is not exactly a literary masterpiece. Contents is left unexplained and dotted throughout the book, leaving room for human improvement. There are several improvements on the net, but somehow I doubt all Muslims will easily accept them. Muslim scholars have as they quite rightly point out that mere shortcomings of the book called the Quran does not in any way change the primary message and tenets of Islam and its five pillars. Can you accept the shortfalls along with the suggested improvements, especially if you are a believing Muslim? Thank you for your time. It can only be attributable to human error.